Sorry, I got a little Uzi lyric stuck in my head, but welcome back to another video. It is currently about 12.50 in the morning. I'm so tired. The reason why I'm filming at 12.50 is because every night I just, I can't go to sleep at the time I want to. So tonight I was just like, why not just sit down and talk out loud and film it? Because this happens anyways, so. Usually at night I will go to bed or I'll go to bed around like 10.30 and just start overthinking about literally everything possible. What I'll usually be overthinking about is, this might, this might sound cheesy, but great great moments that I've had in uh, my life, um, great memories that I've had. Memories with people that are no longer here, memories with people that I can't see every day like I used to. You know, funny memories, bad memories, um, literally everything. But the one that gets me the most is why I overthink about things that are in the future that haven't even happened before yet. How am I gonna stress and get the cold sweats and intertwine with my blanket at 12, 30, 1 o'clock in the morning while stuff hasn't even happened yet? I wish I knew the problem because it drives me insane. I don't fall asleep until probably after 1 o'clock, after laying there for a couple hours. I think my problem is overthinking about overthinking, which leads to me overthinking. This is confusing. And then me not going to bed at the time I want to. So usually what I will do to try and help myself fall asleep I usually do one of two things, if not both things, every night. I'll literally lay there in my bed, I'll close my eyes like this, make sure everything is just pitch black, and then whatever's on my mind, I'll just say out loud like I'm doing right now. You, you guys ever hear that saying that, like, you count sheep, go to sleep, or whatever? I mean, I don't count sheep, but talking out loud literally makes me tired, and then I'll fall into a doze, and then it's over from there. <laughs> Sometimes I'll go on for like two, three hours, I won't even realize it, it'll be like three, four o'clock in the morning, and I'm like, after I lay there, if that doesn't work, then I'll put on one of two things. A podcast episode, I'll just sit there and listen to it. Or, I'll no lie, I'll find a 10 hour loop of rain on a tin roof or rain on a car roof. And I'll just play that for however long until I fall asleep. I'll wake up and it's still on. Yeah, you may call me weird, but hey, that shit works. <laughs> Unknown fact, I think I've used the rain on the tin roof for months now. I can't even tell you the last time I haven't used it. Just because I can literally feel like my brain just turning and turning and then the rain almost makes me hone in on like the sound of the rain hitting the tin roof and then I just my brain my body is, is just relaxed and then I just fall asleep from there um, I don't even know if I could fall asleep without the rain anymore or podcast but you gotta do what you gotta do so podcast episode that I usually listen to mm, I'll listen to impulsive by Logan Paul I'll listen to 100 thieves episode something that's interesting where I'll like I'll listen with my eyes closed and then by the time I know it I'm just don't even remember anything. I don't know why during the day, I just, I don't think about anything that I think about at night. I don't get it. I know I could take melatonin and just pass out, but I don't want to get used to having to take melatonin because this is going to cause more problems. And it is so freaking hard to get off your phone when you're going to bed. I know that's, that's probably my problem, honestly. Well, that's my little story about how I can't go to sleep every night. So if you're up late at night as well, just know that I'm up with you and happy holidays. I'm out of here.